Hey guys, Dr. Childs here. Today I just want to talk to you about eight free resources that I have on my site which are dedicated and directed at thyroid, patients with thyroid issues. And so I want to just go over these briefly um, and show you uh, how it is that you can use these resources, how they can help you. And if you want to get these, I'm going to have the link below in the description. All you need to do is go to this web page, just come down here to whichever one you want. You can get all of them if you want. Just click download and put your information and they will be automatically emailed to you. And again, this is a web page on um, my website itself and the link will be below. So let's talk about each of these eight things and just talk briefly about what they are. So the first one would be what I call a hypothyroidism symptoms checklist. Really what this is is a PDF document which shows you the list of all the symptoms um, which are associated with hypothyroidism. You can go through and check them off and you can determine if the symptoms you have are related to your thyroid. This is really important because there's a lot of patients, especially early on in their thyroid journey, who have these conditions or who truly have hypothyroidism but are told by their doctors that they do not. And so if you fit into this category, using this checklist will be very beneficial to you. There's a scoring guide to give you you know, some, some ideas as to how likely it is that your symptoms are related to your thyroid. So if you're fit into that category, this one would be perfect for you. The second one is a complete list of thyroid lab tests. So this list includes optimal ranges, normal ranges, um, and, and more information about these optimal ranges for thyroid lab tests. So this is important, especially again for those sort of people who are newer to the thyroid and don't quite understand the difference between optimal and normal reference ranges. This, this PDF document has everything you need to know about that, and it allows you to, um, sh you, allows you to look at your labs and compare them to the optimal ranges um, that I have recommended here. Now, just remember, though, this optimal range um, are, is for people who are not currently taking thyroid medication, but there still is value in here even if you are on thyroid medication. Number three is something I'm really proud of. This is a whole list of clinical studies you can take to your doctor. Uh, this was part of a, another program that I was making, but I wanted to just give it out for free. It's a huge document, 40 or 50 plus pages. It's massive. Um, and what it does is it has a list of 50 plus studies which prove that the therapies that I talk about on my website are effective for thyroid patients. And the reason that this is beneficial is because you can you can utilize this information and take it to your doctor. You can speak their language and you can use it to help um, sort of endorse the ideas that you read about on my website. And it comes from clinical studies. You can't really argue with it. It's like saying, you know, the researchers took this amount, they used this medication and patients felt this way. And then you go to your doctor and say, hey, I want to be like this patient, use this. And they go, oh, well, I, you know, they sort of have their hands tied if they consider themselves to be scientific in nature. This is something that doesn't get a lot of uh, downloads, I think probably because it's not as, you know, sexy as the other ones here. But if I were you, definitely get this one. Tons of value in there. And like I said, it was part of another bigger program that I was making, but I want to give it out completely for free. Another thing is tips and tricks to find a thyroid doctor. So this is if you're a little more advanced, maybe you've gone to a couple of um, other doctors before, haven't been able to get what you want, but you know that you can feel better if you just get better therapies. I have a list of tips and tricks that you can use to find a thyroid literate doctor. These are doctors that are more likely to use medications like natural desiccated thyroid, T3, other formulations of T4 aside from Synthroid and level thyroxine. They'll use sustained release T3 and so on. So there's a, a list of um, certain strategies that you can do to help you be more successful in finding a doctor. Another one would be, and this is the most popular for sure, is foods to avoid if you have thyroid problems. The reason that this is, I think, so popular is because this is something that you can just do right away. And I have a list of 10 uh, food groups here. I believe there's 10. There might be more, maybe one or two less, something like that. And these are all foods that I've uh, documented as being have, having shown signs that they negatively impact your thyroid. So if you aren't sure where to start, if you're not really sure what foods you should be eating or should not be eating, get this so that you have an understanding of which foods are definitely bad for your thyroid. Some of, some of the ones on there may surprise you. Um, there's a couple. I'm not going to get into it right now, but I have other videos on those topics. But get that if you're unsure. The next one is how to calculate optimal free T4, free T3, and reverse T3 ratio. So this is, a, this is again, a little bit more for more advanced people who understand um, their thyroid function a little bit better. This is something you all should be able to do at some point in the future because it's just so important, and it really isn't hard. I walk you through exactly how to do this, and this helps you understand where your thyroid um where your thyroid is compared to where it should be. Um, it's sort of similar to the complete list of optimal thyroid lab tests. It's more of an extension of that, but it is different. And so you need to understand what these concepts are briefly. And it's a real, real succinct document which outlines exactly what these things are and how to use them. The next thing is a free three-day thyroid meal plan. So this is a, just a meal plan to help you understand the foods you should be eating, whereas the previous one I talked about would be 
gave you information on foods that you should be avoiding. So this is a, in a good example of the foods that you should be eating. Just a quick little meal plan just to sort of get you started. If you aren't sure, if you're falling into a rut in terms of the diets and the foods that you've been eating, this is a really good idea because again, you want to have diversity in the foods that you eat because foods food can be medicine. Uh, and yes, a lot of you are going to need thyroid medication listening to this, but you still should always be uh, altering and improving your diet as you go. It's something I'm still doing in myself and I've been doing this for years and years and years and I just continue to feel better and as I figure out what my body needs. So free three-day meal plan. And then there's list of thyroid medications by name. So this is maybe a little bit more basic, but it has a complete list of thyroid medications, what hormones they contain, um, and then, you know, just the names of them. Because there's a lot of confusion regarding what T4 is, what T3 is, what does NDT mean? How does how does NDT compare to Armour Thyroid or Nature Thyroid? This is all really simple, and I take it for granted because I just understand it, and I've been talking about this for so long. But if you're new in the beginning, it's all confusing. It's like a different language. So get this list. It'll just help you understand what it is that I'm talking about. Um, uh, whenever I mention these things and it'll just help you have more information about your thyroid so if your doctor I've had people who say I think my or my doctor gave me t3 and I'm, I'm like no they didn't actually they just told you it was t3 or you misunderstood or something but you're definitely not on t3 so if you have this information you won't be confused in that way so the the way to do it is you just come down here so if you want to do the, the this one you just click download input the information and again if you want to do them all you can you just click the download button and then input the information you'll have the email automatically sent to you when you do this, you'll be put on my email list um, because we have to send it via email. That's the only way to give it to so many people. I've had tens of thousands of people download it um, and, and utilize these things. Um, if you if you want to, at the, after you get the information, you can unsubscribe. If, but I think if you like this information, you're going to like the future content that I send you. I have a, a email that I send out about two times a month or so, which just contains tons of healthy or helpful information from my blog, the things that I'm talking about, the, th the therapies that I'm using, the things that are working for other thyroid patients. So I think you'll find it really helpful. Um, if you have any questions about these things, leave them below. And otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.